So these NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphics cards have a USB Type-C port on their back. And these USB Type-C ports are used to connect a VR headset. And this one is a GeForce RTX 2060. And as you can see, this one has a USB Type-C port here. And this one is a board partner card. This one is an MSI Gaming Z series. And this one also has a USB Type-C port over here. So I was wondering if you could use this USB Type-C port to maybe like connect and charge your phone, maybe transfer files to and from your computer, and maybe like also connect a portable hard drive, connect a wireless mouse, USB drive. So you guys know what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about if you could use this USB Type-C port as a regular USB port. So I don't think this is limited to VR. I think you can connect anything to this USB Type-C port. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's plug this stuff in and see if it works. Now, if you want to connect a phone that has a USB Type-C port, you will need a cable which has USB Type-C on both its ends. So this one has USB Type-C on both its ends. And this, this one is from Amazon. So this one is those uh, Amazon Basics USB Type-C to USB Type-C 3.1 Gen 1 cable. So this one should work without any problems. And look at the thickness of this cable. Man, this cable is like really, really thick. Okay, so let's try and do this in one shot. But as you can see, I've got one side of the cable plugged in into the phone and the other side will go into the graphics card. So let's go ahead and do this. So, you know what? Let's try and look at the phone. And look at that, Galaxy S10 Plus. And is it charging? Well, yes, it is charging, but is it fast charging? Should show up. Look at that, the phone is fast charging. It says fast charging, uh, let's take a look. Fast charging one hour, 13 minutes until fully charged. And right now it's at 32%. So yeah, it is indeed fast charging. So I guess this USB Type-C port is capable of USB power delivery. So before I transfer any files, I want to see how much current we're getting. So Ampere app. So let's see, wait for it. So look at this, we are getting about 2.8 amps. And once again, it is plugged in into the freaking graphics card. Now on the PC, the phone just shows up normally as if it's connected to a USB on the motherboard. But here, in fact, it is connected to the graphics card. So let's do a file transfer speed test. So let's go to phone and I've got a bunch of videos over here. And these are 4K videos that I've uploaded to my YouTube account. And these are about 11.2 gigabytes. So let's just copy and paste these. You know what? I'm just going to drag and drop these onto the phone and we shall see if they are playable on the phone after we copy them. So here we go. And because this is media transfer protocol, it does not show uh, the speed of the file transfer. So it's not showing how fast it's transferring the files. And this minutes remaining is also not correct. And it's done. It took 59 seconds to transfer 11 gigabytes of files from the PC to the phone. And let's see if they show up here on the phone. So let's go to gallery, let's go down here. And there you go guys, YouTube videos. And these are the videos that I just transferred from the PC to the phone. Hey guys. So this transfer speed is actually quite fast. So yeah, it is USB 3. So now let's transfer these files back to the computer. So reset this and I'll just delete this permanently. So again, I'm just gonna drag and drop this onto the desktop and uh, let's see. So after this is done, we will see if this thing works with the USB Type-C port on the graphics card or not. But yeah, I think it will work without any problems. And it's done. So it took 44 seconds more to transfer files from the phone to the PC than it took while we were transferring files from the PC to the phone. Yeah, go figure. Okay guys, so now moving on to the more interesting part of this video, let's try and connect this portable USB hard drive directly to the graphics card. Wow, that does feel weird saying directly to the graphics card. 
Anyway, this is a WD My Passport 4TB portable hard drive and the way this hard drive connects is through a micro USB 3.0B port. So this is how a micro USB 3.0B port looks like and this is the cable. So I actually had to go and pick up another USB cable. So I bought one of these. Again, this is an Amazon Basics. So one side has a USB Type-C connector instead of your USB-A connector. This one has a USB Type-C and the other side has the same uh, micro USB 3.0B connector which will plug in into the hard drive. Oh, sorry about that. So this is the cover. So USB Type-C to micro B 3.1 Gen 2 cable and all the links are down in the video description. Now I can use one of these. So this is a USB Type-C to USB uh, type A, but this is not USB 3.0. So this is a four year old one terabyte WD Elements portable USB hard drive and it's also got that same micro USB 3.0 B port and this is also compatible with micro USB by the way. I think if you recently purchased a portable USB 3.0 hard drive, it's most likely going to have this kind of a port. But if it does not, you can also buy a USB type C to micro USB cable, but you won't get that fast transfer speed. Okay, so now let's plug in the portable hard drive in the graphics card. That feels weird every time I say that, but yeah. So this one takes about five or six seconds to spin up. So let's just wait until this light starts blinking. But yeah, I've tested this hard drive before on a USB 3.0 port and the transfer speeds are like really, really good. So I got a sustained transfer speed of 100 megabytes per second. And it should show up now. And there you have it. And just like the phone, the portable hard drive also shows up as a normal USB drive. So let's see how much of a transfer speed we can get. So I'm just going to cut and paste this folder onto the desktop. So this one has 43 files and this is about 12.18 gigabytes big. So just cut and paste. And looks like we're getting about 100, 110 megabytes per second transfer speed. And this is the same transfer speed I got when I connected this uh, portable hard drive to a USB 3.0 port. So I've tested this drive on these two ports. Yeah, about the same transfer speed. So this proves that this USB type C port or the graphics card is at least a USB 3.0 port. And as you can see, the hard drive is connected to the freaking graphics card. That is cool. So I'm just going to stop it here and uh, it's going to cut all these files and paste them directly on the hard drive. And once again, guys, you can see we're getting 100 megabytes per second transfer speeds. If I open task manager and this is the portable hard drive. You can see that write speed is about 120 megabytes per second. So yeah, pretty cool. So now I want to try a bunch of other stuff like connecting a digital camera and a USB thumb drive. And for connecting all of these, I'll just use this converter thing here because these aren't exactly USB 3.0. But yeah, you can get a cable which has a USB type C instead of USB type A. And on the other side, it has this micro USB connector. So I'll put all the cable links down in the video description. So as you can see, the transfer has completed. So I'll just eject the drive and the drive should eject itself and there you have it okay so let's first start off with the camera and camera powered on so here is my usb type c to usb type a converter i'll just plug this thing in then i can just plug in the usb which is usb cable that is going into the camera into this converter and it should work it says USB connected, mass storage, and look at that. So this PC. So there you go, guys. This is the camera's USB drive. And here you can see a bunch of pictures that I just shot. So this is awesome. So now let's um, I'll just take this out. So now let's try this USB drive. I mean, this USB drive is almost like 10 years old. Let's see if it 
backwards and hey it does work uh, yeah it has windows 10 installation on it but yeah it does work and i can just eject it from over here and save to remove so now let's try plugging in a mouse so i'll just unplug this from the computer and this is the mouse cable and you can see the mouse turned off so i'll just plug this thing in And there you have it guys the mouse starts working instantly so if I unplug this it's a little bit difficult to do so and the mouse will stop working so this USB type C port on the graphics card is actually a normal USB port it can support any device that you plug in provided you have a proper cable and a converter so the last thing I want to try plugging in here is a USB LED light so I've got my converter here, let's plug this thing in and uh, and there you have it guys. It's also got a brightness control on its bottom. So look at that, this thing is quite bright. So the phone does fast charge when it's plugged in into the graphics card. But I want to see how many percentage charge we can get in say about like 30 minutes. So I'm just going to plug the phone in and play a video game for about 30 minutes and then we'll see how much charge we can get inside the phone's battery okay so let's do this in one shot you can see the cable is plugged in into the graphics card and the other side will go into the phone so no hanky panky going on over here you know what it's very difficult to do this with one hand so Alright, and as you can see, the phone says fast charger connected. It's not saying USB connected, but it shows fast charger connected, but actually it's also connected through USB. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and play the game and uh, put the phone to sleep. Alright guys, so it is time to check the battery level, so it's been exact. 30 minutes so we plug the phone in at 37 and now it's 337 and the battery level is at 66 percent so that's like a 37 percent gain in about 30 minutes so this is interesting if you connect the phone to a usb 3 port or even a normal usb 2.0 port the phone shows that usb connected if you connect the phone to that usb type c port on the graphics card it shows charger connected but in fact it's also connected to usb so you'll also be able to transfer files uh, to and from your PC if you connect it to that uh, USB Type-C port on the graphics card. But here in the power settings, it actually shows charger connected. So I've connected the phone to the graphics card and now it is showing that fast charger connected. But in fact, it's also connected to USB. So you can transfer your files and stuff so you can see that transferring media files via usb so this shows that this usb type c port is capable of fast charging this phone so guys my conclusion is that the usb type c port on these new nvidia rtx graphics card is a normal usb port and you can connect pretty much any usb device to it so guys thank you for watching this video and if you like the video please consider subscribing and do follow me on instagram and all the links are down in the video description and if you have any questions or doubts feel free to ask me in the comment section down below and i'll be more than happy to answer you guys so guys thank you for watching and do stay tuned for more videos on these pc projects